EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! EA Sports! It's in the game. It's in the game! Arrow! It's in the game! It's in the game! EA Sports. It's in the game. And the Irish are always in the game. NCAA Football 2004.
Hilton Hair Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. We're in the heart of the South where college football is king. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Florida A&M Rattlers and the Auburn Tigers. And here come the Tigers. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-hosts, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Rattlers may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. Auburn is going to dominate this football game, and they're going to do it with the running back. I mean, this guy is unstoppable. I expect a huge game for him in this game, Lee. I'm talking about 200 yards and three touchdowns at least. You're 100% correct. Auburn is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys will run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 86. Fields it at the 9. He tries to spin. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. Florida A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Looks, wants to throw outside. Great defensive play by the cornerback. This pitch play is a good call here. I'd get my guy psyched up to block out there. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 23. High formation here. Looking, throws it to the outside. Picks it off. What an interception by the cornerback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some of these receivers. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Rattlers have five receivers on this play. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. It's dropped. The wideout unable to catch that pass. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 34. Florida A&M lines up with three receivers. Got hit as he threw, and it falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think this quarterback just overestimated his speed. The Rattler line up with three wide. Steps up. He's going left. Incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. I don't think they have any choice here, guys. They're going to go for it. Got an opening. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. And how about that receiver? He made a great catch. And he tacks on the extra point. With under five minutes remaining in the first quarter of play, the score, Florida A&M, seven, Auburn, nothing. Florida A&M to kick this one off. Number 22 and number 86, back to return. Short kickoff. Number 22, fields it at the 13, spins up field. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll take over at the 30. 
They come out with three wide receivers. Inside handoff. And down he goes at the 37. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Second and three. Ball on their own 37. Single set backfield. Inside give. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. That was a big time run by a big time player. Boy, this running back just made the defense look really bad with that long touchdown run. And he hits the PAT. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, Auburn, seven, Florida A&M, seven. Number 18, ready to kick, number 24, and number three, back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number three, fields it at the nine. See if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. We're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll go with a fullback. And he's taken down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Florida A&M comes out in the shotgun. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Five wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Got his man. And he's tackled. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Rattlers come out the shotgun. Across the middle, and he's taken down. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. Second and five coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number one, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Here they come. They'll make the sack. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Three wideouts here. He drops back. Throws short. And he can't make the catch. Let's see if the defense is ready for him here. Drops back to pass. Pressure coming. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 29. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big time plays. They'll get the ball here at the 29 yard line. Number 24 is the single setback. A little misdirection. And he's taken down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, first down. He got a hold of the face mask there. Yeah, Brad, you have to be careful when wrapping up on a guy like that. First and ten. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. 
Single set backfield. Here's a counter play. He hit and got away. And down he goes. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 49. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. He'll get it again. And he's taken down at the 45. And he picks up the first. Nice job by the halfback, taking the delayed handoff and making something out of that play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. They go with the run. He spins around. And down he goes. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second down and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers line up with three wide. He'll get the call again. He spins, and he's taken down at the 31. And I believe that run right there puts him over the century mark. It sure did, and he is really running hard today. This guy has great vision when it comes to finding open space and running through it. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 17 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Over the middle. Got it. And down he goes. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. <laughs> on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. This offense is making it look very easy. Yeah, the defense has been unable to make a play. They have a few times, but when they need to shut them down, they just can't seem to do it. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Touchdown, Auburn! And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. And he tacks on the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Auburn 14, Florida A&M 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number three takes it at the eight. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. Single set back for you. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, wants the middle, 
Got it. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Number one, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Steps up under pressure. Incomplete pass. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, 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 let's get back to basics. Hey, Coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk, we almost caught that one. Number one, the lone back. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Florida A&M goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. This one's thrown deep over the middle. He got it. There he goes. To the 10. And he will score. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. he hits the PAT. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Florida A&M, 14, Auburn, 14. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number 22 takes it at the eight. Looks to me as though the offensive line is ready to run the ball some more. And that defensive line better be ready, because if they aren't, they'll be giving up another touchdown drive. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. Three wideouts here. They'll throw on first down. Looking across the middle. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 28. Number 17 with three wide receivers. With the spin, there's a missed tackle, and he's taken down. The running back gives them six on the ground. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. On the ground with a tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. He didn't have the ball on there. Having ball control is important in football. And three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. Fourth and four. Ball on the 34 yard line. They come out in a punt formation. Number 31, back to return. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. They went for it on fourth and didn't get it. I'm not quite sure what they were trying to prove with that. It's the first half, and they're going for it on fourth down. Two words for you, Kirk. Dumb call. Play it safe and punt the ball next time. Up the middle with a fullback. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. It seems to me that he landed on his arm a little awkwardly. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 30. Florida A&M lines up in a bunch formation. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Kirby just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Third and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. One man backfield. Back to pass. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. And he dropped it. Not a good time to let it go through your hand. Unbelievable. He decides to throw the ball in your direction on third down, and you decide to watch it bounce off your hands. That's got to be frustrating for the quarterback. They come out in a five-wide set. 
He's got it. The 10. Touchdown, Florida a &M. And the quarterback got hit, but was it late? First and foul. Roughing the passer. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Florida A&M 21, Auburn 14. We should have a return on this one. Number 86 takes it from the six. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Play action. Here comes the pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. He grabbed a hold of the quarterback and would not let go. Well, he's able to slip right through a crack in the line and get a big sack. Second down and 14. Ball on the 20. Florida A&M brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He's looking. He rolls out to the left. Wants to throw outside. The linebacker picks it off. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. It's first and 10, ball on the 30. Number one, lines up as a single back. Drops back to pass. He pumps once, incomplete pass. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here the quarterback just overshot this time. The Rattlers have five receivers on this play. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Complete. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Rattlers line up with three wide. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. The 10. He's in for the touchdown. Fellas, he's really out to an outstanding start in this football game. Hey, if he continues at this pace, he may throw for 500 yards. I'll tell you what, this guy is so much fun to watch when he gets into a rhythm like this. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Florida A&M 28, Auburn 14. Florida A&M is ready to kick it away. Number 22 takes it from the six. Shakes off the tackle. Spin move. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 37-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Auburn comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Setting up the play action. Caught to the 20. He can scoop. for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for it, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns.
And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Florida A&M 28, Auburn 21. Auburn ready to kick this one off. Number 24 and number three back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 24 fields it at the nine. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They come out in a goal line set. And he's taken down at the 26. And they pick up two yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 26. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Florida A&M 28, Auburn 21. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number three, fields it at the nine. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 21. Florida A&M comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass, looks, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. They come out with a big set. Steps up, throws it to the outside. Incomplete. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. And that penalty is going to push him back. Yeah, an offense can't be productive when they're making mistakes like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 11-yard line. The Rattlers set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third and long. Ball on the 11. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. It falls incomplete. I don't think the offense was on the same page on that drive. It's three and out on three incomplete passes. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 15 gets it off. Number 86 fields it for 48. Picked up some good, solid yardage on that return. Yo. That's not good for the old net punting average either. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Spinning, and down he goes at the 17-yard line. A nice run there, and another first down. Yeah, this is a delayed handoff to the tailback, and as you can see, he knows exactly how to handle it once he gets his hands on the ball. Also, Kirk, you got to give the offensive coordinator a lot of credit. A nice call there. Cut. Again with a carry, and he's taken down at the 13. About four yards on that play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 13. Number 17 with three wide receivers. Hand off up the middle. Touchdown, Auburn! A 
another rushing touchdown. What a day this young man is having. If there are any doubts coming into this game of whether this defense could stop the run, this guy has answered that with his first touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Auburn 28, Florida A&M 28. Number 18 looks ready to kick this one off. And they'll be returning this one. Number three fields it at the three. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 21-yard line. One man backfield. They're going to pitch it. He's hit, got away, and down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 22. The Rattler line up with three wide. Got an opening across midfield at the point. And he's all the way down to the 35 yard line. How about that for a statement? That was a nice counter play there. The line did a good job of blocking up front and sustaining their blocks, and the tailback did the rest once he got past the first wave of defenders. Yo, guys, that was close to being six. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. And he can't hang on to it. Second and 10. Ball on the 35. Number seven with four wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 33. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 33. The Rattlers line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Oh, boy, almost intercepts it. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Fourth and a long shot. Uh-oh, high snap. Number 10 with the interception. He tries to spin. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. So they'll take over now in the shadow of their own goal post. They don't want to make any mistakes in this situation. They'll throw on first down. He got his running back, and down he goes. They threw the tailback that time for a nice little pickup. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Complete. And he's taken down. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Rattlers line up in a nickel back. off on the counter and down he goes and they pick up nine there second and one coming up here ball on their own 46 number 24 the lone back He 
keep it on the ground with a tailback. He spins around, and he's taken down at the 42. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. It's first and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers line up with three wide. Inside handoff. And down he goes. Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Three wide outs here. Again with the run. Spins up field. And he's taken down. The running back gives him six on the ground. And so we've reached the end of quarter number three here with one quarter to go. We're all tied up. Third and four. Ball on the 36-yard line. Single set backfield. They hand it off again. And down he goes. That last run catapults him over the 200-yard mark for the day. What an exhibition of skills this running back in the offensive line is showcasing here today. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Again, he'll get the ball, and he's taken down about four yards on that play. Second and six coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Number 17 with three wide receivers. Inside handoff. And down he goes. Three yard gain by the running back. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They'll run for the first to third and short, and he's taken down. Again, they're able to move the sticks on third down. And I'm going to tell you what, this offense is putting together one impressive drive. We'll see if they can finish it off with a score. One man backfield. the middle and down he goes at the 12 yard line they keep it on the ground and the halfback gets about seven yards second and three coming up this is the 12th play of this drive number 17 comes to the line with three wide off his pass the tackler and he's taken down at the six yard line what a drive this has been and they made about six stops along the way one for every first down they've gotten and that my friend deserves a yo number 17 with three wide receivers with a tailback. They'll get two on that one. The Rattlers bring in their dime package. Handoff. 
Goff up the middle. And he's got the touchdown. Good looking run as the halfback found the end zone. He sure did. Took the head up and boom. Hello, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Auburn 35, Florida A&M 28. Number 18 is lined up to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number three takes it from the six. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> he drops back. Steps up. Throws! <laughs> Have a look at our Old Spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Florida A&M comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. Incomplete pass. He let his halfback too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. It's third down and 10. Ball in the 20. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. Obvious passing situation here. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. First and ten. Ball on the 20. Number 24, alone in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. The Rattlers call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Auburn goes with the ace set here. Inside give. Has some damage. And he's taken down. The Rattlers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. The Tigers line up with three wide. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, Auburn! How'd you like that last score, Lee? Well, what I like about this kid is his nose for the end zone. With that score, his total now is four touchdowns on the ground for this game. Unbelievable. And he hits the PAT. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Auburn 42, Florida A&M 28. Number 18 looks ready to kick this one off. Number 24 and number three set to return. Here's the kick. Number three fields it at the 11. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. We see a similar result this time. They'll take over at the 20. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Down the middle. And he can't hang on to it. Just a minute remains in this football game. The Rattlers line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. He's under some heat. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20. Florida A&M in a five-wide set. Back to pass. He steps up. He's going left. 
And they couldn't hook up on that one. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completions. Looks like they're going to go for it here. Steps up over the middle. Complete. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. How amazing is that completion? Wow. What I'm wondering is what the heck is the defense doing on that play? And he stops the clock with a spike. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Florida A&M lines up in a bunch formation. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, and it's caught, and he's taken down. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. I like what the coach is doing here with this hurry-up offense. Watch for this young defense to get a little confused on this play. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Easy decision. You gotta go for it here. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. In and out of his hand. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. Auburn lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. He's right there for the interception. That's going to be his third interception of the game. He's got to learn not to make foolish passes like that. Quarterback is a position that is all about patience. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27. Drops back to pass. He stepped up. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom. He went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 19. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Florida A&M had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2004. Our final tally in this game, Auburn 42, Florida A&M 28. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.